I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet Weather Report. So far this summer, the afternoon highs just don't tell the story of the heat we have been facing. It is the heat index that has been at the forefront of our summer weather so far. So how many days had it actually hit 100 through early July? For most of us across the state, zero. No days through Tuesday, July 5th. One place that has been roasting is Kingfisher. Through July 5th, Kingfisher had recorded eight days that had reached 100 or higher. On Tuesday afternoon, July 5th, five locations hit 100 degrees or more. Chickasha recorded its first 100 degree afternoon. Kingfisher and Goodwill hit 103. Tuesday afternoon on the heat index side, only eight mesonet sites were below 100 heat index degrees. The highest heat index was Talala at 110. High heat index can be dangerous for people and animals, but plants don't feel the heat index. They respond to air temperature. That means this has been a good early summer for summer crops and hay fields, and the rains have helped. Rains from June 30th through July 6th have made a big difference in the northeastern and eastern areas of the state. Those were areas recently headed into drought. One deluge over Pawnee pushed their rain total to 8 and 39 hundredths inches. All the green areas had more than an inch of rain, with most of the green areas receiving two or more inches. One of the areas that continues to miss out on their normal rainfall is an area from Kingfisher to El Reno to Oklahoma City North to Guthrie. This pops out on a map of the departure from normal rainfall from June 6th through July 5th. That area near Kingfisher and another near the Red River were short of their normal rainfall by more than four inches. On a map of soil moisture at the 10 inch depth, that area shows up as a brown, indicating it's dry, along a large area in western Oklahoma and out by Boise City. This is a fractional water index map where one is saturated and zero dry. The good news in soil moisture is for the folks in the green areas on our map of seven-day soil moisture change between June 30th and July 5th. Lake Carl Blackwell and Pawnee jumped a whopping nine-tenths in one week. Going deeper down in the soil, we see some other dry areas pop up and some disappear at 24 inches. Kingfisher was bone dry at zero. Our 30-day outlook for July has a higher chance of above normal air temperatures for Oklahoma and the rest of the nation. While the humidity has pushed up the heat index and created higher heat risks for people and animals, the early summer has kicked our summer crops off to a good start. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Mesonet Weather Report. <music>